With this video, we're going to show you how to uninstall Office 2010. Just go right over here, go to Control Panel, go to Programs Uninstall. We're going to start with Link, so just click on Link 2010, hit the Uninstall button, click Yes, and it will start to uninstall Link. You got to do this first before you install the new applications. Link is included with Office 2013. It's not a separate application like it is here. So just hit yes here and run right through this. It takes just a couple seconds. And you're done. Now just go right up to Office Professional. Click uninstall. You'll see the pop-up screen. You can see that you want to uninstall this. Click yes. It will run through the in uninstall real quick. And after this, you're going to have to reboot. But that way you flush out all the cache, all the memory, and you can start from scratch uh, installing uh, 2013. So just let this run its course. Click done. Reboot. Just a quick login here, just type in your password. All right, let's bring up our browser and go to login.microsoftonline.com. Put in your credentials. These are your credentials for Office 365. All right, go up here to the little gear, which is your settings tab. Go down to Office 365 Settings. In here, you'll see where the Software tab is, right over here. And this will allow you to pick what software to install. Just scroll down a little bit here. You can see you can go 32-bit or 64-bit. Just hit the Install button. Hit Run. And this will install Office 2013. Pretty simple. And the nice thing is, because you uninstalled um, 2010, which already had Outlook configured, you'll see that once this gets installed, it won't take very long here, once this gets installed, you'll be able to um, just pick up where you left off. It will have to replicate all the new data, but all your settings will still be there. Um, just click Next here. Um, this is for um, to accept the license. And by the way, you get to install this on five different units. Click Next for, for OneDrive. You definitely want to use OneDrive. You can pick a, if you just want no background in the web interface, or you can I just pick the, the one that's most technology based. No thanks to watch the video. But you can install this on five different systems that you're accessing your email on, because that's the way it verifies that you have an active account. So this will install Office really quickly for you, depending upon your internet connection, because you will have to obviously bring the, the files down from the internet. And you're all done. Now you can verify that this is running on your computer. Just go over. Um, and click here, go to All Programs, you'll see Office 2013, and everything was there. Pretty simple, real easy to do.